What's up gamers, Jim here and I'm going to do a quick tutorial for Creator on how to add a gun system onto your game and I will be using um, racing as an example so if you use the race template you don't actually get a weapon in, in that template so maybe you want to make a racing mode with guns inside or maybe you just want to add guns to a different template or even an empty game or just want to figure out how scripting works in general without actually coding. So let's just begin with, uh, I'm going to pick racing here. I'm going to pick the racing one. I'm going to go for a blank canvas. I'm going to call it uh, gun demo race. And I'm just going to pick a random picture. What I like to do is when there's a new, when there's a blank template, I like to just play the game once, just to understand its limitations and what content is actually in here. So what I'm going to do right now is press F5 to preview. And I'm going to pay attention for every little detail. So right off the bat, I can see that I'm in lobby mode and I've spawned exactly in this position. So that means my lobby spawn point is going to be located here. Now that, the, now that the race has started, I have been teleported to this location, so I know whatever I'm looking for, the starting location icon will be here. And then this is just me going through the checkpoints. Once I get through this checkpoint, it says reach checkpoint. And then here we go, the, fin the last checkpoint is here. Now, maybe you want to make a racing with guns, or maybe you want to make a different game with guns. So how do we actually implement a gun system? So let's click on F5 to edit. I will be using advanced mode because I haven't even touched the basic mode. I have no idea what you can do on basic mode and I'm already used to the advanced mode. It's similar to other game engines. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's not much I can say about that. So right off the bat, as you, if you remember, we started off here. So start lobby one, which you can find in here. And this is when the race starts, which is start one. If if you can see that, it's on the right side as well. So cool. This is basically a template of racing. Now let's try to add a weapon. First things first, um, we need an inventory system so that your character will actually hold the weapon in their hands and start shooting. And maybe you might want to add more weapons. So you might want like... Uh, free weapons or whatnot. So let's just go to templates and see that there is no user inventory or a gun for that matter. So what you want to do is you want to go to community and we're going to search for inventory. And we want to download inventory with the creator icon right there because that means official creator. So that's installed. Now we also need to have the gun. So we could go to gun and there's a gun package ready. These three gun packages on the bottom are community made. Uh, but the first one is the one we want because it's got the crate icon next to it. Um, I haven't even touched the community ones. This one says it's got a physics gun. A physics gun that can pick up and throw entities. That by description that sounds like the, the weapons you have on like Gary's mod. Which, is, which I do want to try out later. And then you have a banana <laughs> Banana gun by your boy Twiz, <laughs> uh, also a YouTuber, I am aware. Uh, so, I'm actually curious about the banana gun, I'll check it out after the video. Um, so, what you want to do is, let's go to templates. As I said, you need an inventory system, so let's do that first. Uh, as you can see here, we've got use inventory and player inventory view. But we, we have to go to user itself and we can see that there is no uh, user inventory view here. So what we want to do is, um, let's see, I think it's easier if I do it through the package system. Oh, it's already highlighted for me. Uh, so go through packages, go into the inventory package itself. And I want to, let's see, which one was it? It was user inventory. And you just want to drag that into the inventory system. There we go. And we haven't got a gun yet. So what I want to do next, would it actually let me already? I don't think it will, would it? 
Let me just quickly check. No, I wouldn't. Um, oh, that's that's not even right. It's supposed to be there. Sorry, my bad. Item template. We have the gun here. That's the, the template we've already installed. Uh, so you put gun here. If you want more, I'll show you how to do that after. Um, so this is basically the inventory itself. But if you hit play, it won't work because you need to actually assign uh, inventory view to a player. So we're going to do the same thing here. So we'll go back to go to player this time and then go into inventory and then you have player inventory view. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag this to player. And as you can see, we can... Oh, we can see a preview of what it's supposed to look like. You have your weapon selectors on the bottom. You have your coins and gems on the right. And that's that's basically it. If I'm correct, I think it should work right now. It's just off the bat, without any coding or whatever. And for some reason the game's glitching. <laughs> okay, there we are. I don't know what that glitch was, but... Um, there. It's working now. Just ignore what happened in the first five seconds. <laughs> you know what? Let me go back to edit mode and then play again. Let's see if that happens again. Maybe it was just a one time bug because it's like loading everything for the first time. Oh. Yep. Yeah, okay. See? It works perfectly now. And now we have a gun in the actual game. Um, if you want the world to be destroyed, let's go back to edit mode. If you want the world to actually destroy with the voxels, what you can do is, uh, is it still loading? Yeah, it's loading. What you can do is go to terrain, go down, and click on damage enabled. And I think with that, it should now damage the world. Yep. I don't know why you would need to do that for racing, but hey, you're the designer. You can decide. That's how you do it. This, this is the tool to do it. So we've already added a gun that was like less than five minutes. What if I want to add more guns? What if I want to add different guns? Um, so good question, by the way. <laughs> uh, what you want to do is you want to go to actually we have to create a second gun first. Let's go to templates. What I like to do is just take the normal prepackaged gun template and du uh, duplicate it. And let's call this one a shotgun. It's actually designed a shotgun, um, and then it, and then you place it into the world for some reason. I don't know why it did that. You don't need to place it in the world. Um, I'm gonna go out to selector mode, so you can see I've created shotgun here. I'm gonna right click, edit, and you'll see that we're still using an assault rifle because I duplicated the assault rifle, which was called gun. So I'm gonna scroll down. This is what this is what you can change. So if I want, I can make this apple shoot a gun. Basically, <laughs> so you can pick anything from the meshes, like uh, alarm. Uh, I don't know, like like if we had an apple, you can shoot from an apple. But for the sake of this tutorial, oh, I you know what I assume what the YouTuber did was probably just took a banana and probably shot. I don't know, but we'll see what they did. Um, so let's look for a shotgun. Uh, shotgun, shotgun. Where is the shotgun? Shotgun, here we are. So this is a shotgun. Um, let's scroll down. You can see that you can edit the damage and stuff. Um, so 200 damage is fine. Where is weapon spread? Bullet per shot. Okay, as you know, a shotgun doesn't shoot one bullet at a time. So let's do 10 bullets. And let's, let's increase the spread as well. Let's do, let's do five. Um, and then repeat timer. Now this, this took me a while to figure out. The repeat timer is actually the fire rate. Um, I was looking for the word fire rate until I figured out repeat timer is the fire rate. So shot sound. So this is, so that's what it's going to sound like when you shoot. It's going to sound like an assault rifle. We can change that to a shotgun audio, which is right here. And then this is the dry fire one, when it's like, I don't know, when it's empty, I guess. Uh, shotgun fire. That sounds good. Um, shots per clip, 15. Sure, let's do that. And then you have reload one at a time. I mean, there are shotguns out there where you do reload one at a time, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to use that. 
Um, and then we can name it. We can name it. So we're going to name it shotgun. Whatever you name it here will be labeled in the inventory itself. And here we have the grip system. So it's so what grip is, is how is the player going to handle this object? If we do rifle, then the player is going to hold the shotgun as if it was a rifle. But fortunately, there is an actual shotgun mode. For example, if we did RPG, the character is going to hold the shotgun as if it was an RPG. You know what? Let's try that. Let's try it. I haven't tried this before. Let's see what happens if you hold it like an RPG. And that's about it. There's so many settings you can play around with. Um, now let's actually add add it to the inventory. So we go to use inventory. Uh, sorry, we go to user. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, do I even need this? I think I do. Anyways, let's go to defaults. And we want to just copy that. So I'm going to create a new one. Script. Uh, inventory default script. And this is automatically already slot 2. Uh, and we're going to put in the shotgun there. And if I did everything right, it should just work like that. Hopefully. There you go. If you press 2, you got the shotgun. And <laughs> my, my character's holding the shotgun as if it is a rocket launcher. Um, let me do first person view. <laughs> it's just a floating hand. As you can see, we got the weapon spread. And we're shooting, what did I say, to 5 or 10? I don't remember. Let's um, go back to edit. Let's change the shotgun stats again. We just click here on the top right and then shotgun. Um, and what you do is, let's go, where's that RPG? Uh, okay, so you just put that to shotgun. Let's make the weapon spread a bit more. 10. And let's put more bullets and yeah let's let's try that now we got the shotgun look at that we just we just increased the shotgun power look at that it's just demolishing that wall and that's how you add a shotgun to your game or a gun I have a gun as well and you know what let's quickly edit the gun as well the gun is at default let's actually make it like a proper assault rifle or a, or a light machine gun. Um, bullets per shot. Sure, let's keep that as one. I'm gonna re I'm gonna do repeat to 0 0.05, so it's even faster. And I'm gonna put shots clip to 40. So I don't know, extended mag. <laughs> um, and let's hit play. Let's see what has happened. Look at that! Straight away, we've just we've just improved the rifle. That looks that's awesome. Oops. <laughs> and yeah, that is that is how you add a weapon. That's how you add a second weapon, and that is how you change weapon stats and just changing the behavior straight away. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, this is Gem. And I'll see you on the next one.